It was 2017 when I first started using the red light therapy device. And within a few sessions, I noticed one profound change. You see, I used to have really sensitive high gum points. So eating ice cream, cold drinks, or even really hot foods would cause pain. But after a few sessions of using the red light therapy panel, this pain went away. I talk about that in another video. Now back then, red light therapy wasn't widely known. Fast forward eight years and it's everywhere, in particular in the beauty space. Now for someone that has been using and testing red light therapy devices for eight years, you think that I'd be the pinup model for perfect skin, radiant health and longevity, right? Well, I do want to share a few thoughts on this and photos, so hang around for that. But first, I do want to touch on what the science shows around red light therapy use and skin health. Because in truth, even though these beauty influences may be exaggerating a few claims, fundamentally those claims are sound. So what does the research on red light therapy and skin health actually tell us? And why is it that so many people are turning to red light therapy devices, such as red light therapy masks, for skin anti-aging benefits. First off, red light therapy, or photobiomodulation as it's more technically known, uses specific wavelengths, red and near infrared wavelengths, to stimulate cells in the body. And when it comes to the skin, we've got a growing body of evidence showing real world benefits. One of the biggest, collagen production. You see red and near infrared light stimulates fibroblast cells in your skin, producing more collagen and elastin. These are the proteins in your skin that give it the youthful, firm appearance. As we age, collagen breaks down, leading to wrinkles and skin sagging. But red light therapy has been shown to slow and in some cases even reverse this process. Therefore, wrinkle and fine line reduction is another big benefit of red light therapy. Multiple clinical studies have shown that regular use of red light therapy can significantly reduce fine lines and wrinkles especially around the eyes and the mouth. And again, this isn't anecdotal, this is peer-reviewed, published research. I'll link to an article that goes much deeper into this topic and includes all the sources down below. A third benefit is around skin tone and skin texture. You see red light therapy, and in particular near infrared as it penetrates deeper, enhances circulation and speeds up cellular turnover. Pretty much this means you're shedding old cells and generating healthier new cells faster. And in turn, this can help with skin tone, reducing redness and creating a more smoother appearance and feel. And another area that red light therapy can help with is around inflammation. The light can reduce inflammatory cytokines while also improving healing. And in turn, this can even help with things such as acne and scarring. Now, again, I'm saying all of this because this is what the science shows us. Now, some of the researchers are even using very advanced tools to measure skin tightness, to measure skin smoothness, even advanced microscopes to look at what's going on at a cellular level in the skin. So this is why people were turning to red light therapy for skin benefits. It works, the costs of entry are quite low, and the side effects are almost non-existent. So what about me then? I've been using red light therapy devices for a long time. Shouldn't I see some amazing reversal in aging? Well, the reason behind this video is I actually got a comment the other day saying, hey Alex, I've looked at some of your old videos and I've looked at your new videos. If you're the red light therapy dude who lives and breathes this stuff, like shouldn't you look 10 years younger than you do? And then they went on to say, and rightfully so, that in fact, I've aged. And um, yeah, I thought to myself, you know what? I need to talk about this because it is a very valid comment. Now, first up, the video they were referring to was posted about five or six years ago, and I'm rapidly approaching 40 years old. So in the scheme of things, this isn't the difference between say 18 and 24. I'm in my middle life, so to speak, and yeah, I'm aging, unfortunately. But as someone who is talking about red light therapy products and covers subjects such as how beneficial it can be, I feel like, yeah, it's important to address the elephant in the room. So here's what I've got to say. In the last six or seven years, my life changed dramatically. And remember, I found red light therapy about eight years ago. You see, about six and a half years ago, I became a dad. And as any parent knows, this causes a fair amount of stress. One of the biggest things that happen when you become a parent is that your sleep disappears pretty much overnight. And you can see this with my aura data. Guess what happened in 2019? That's right. Secondly, around that time, my wife and I purchased our first house, so we had a mortgage. Thirdly, at the same time, I know in hindsight it wasn't wise, I went all in with my online business blogging model, which as you can guess, caused a little bit of financial stress as well. Then as my son had his first birthday, COVID hit, and as I was living in New Zealand, things were 
again, very stressful. Fast forward 10 months or so, just before his second birthday, and my son had a very long seizure. If life wasn't stressful enough, this totally changed things. Now, of course, I don't want to go into the details here, but my son was diagnosed with epilepsy and he had more hospital visits and ambulance trips in a year than most people have in their lifetime. My wife was pregnant with her second child at the time. I was still trying to grow my business. And also we lived on a farm at the time. And because my wife was extremely tied with her pregnancy, I was the one monitoring my son around the clock and doing all the hospital trips and all the crazy things that come with that. Now, the next two or three years were extremely challenging. I'm talking some very scary moments, lots of sleepless nights on seizure watch, and just to be honest, a lot of fear and uncertainty. And yes, I was still running my business and I was still testing and reviewing red light products and of course using them. But I swear to God, there were times I'd come back from the hospital and I'd look at myself in the mirror and I would literally see a new wrinkle or two or new gray hairs growing in my bed or losing more hair in the top. Now, of course, this is just how life is when you're a parent. You sacrifice yourself, your time, your sleep, your money, a lot of things for your child. And I'm saying this with a smile on my face because my son is now six and a half and he's coming up three years seizure free. We still have a lot of things to sort through. For instance, he has been ill for 19 days out of the last 30. And though he's not having the seizures, the illnesses can still be pretty severe. But other than that, he's a happy, relatively healthy, thriving child. He rides motorbikes, for instance. So I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. Yes, we know red light therapy can help. It can help in a lot of metrics. There is a lot of research out there showing that it's beneficial for not just skin, but wound healing, surgery, recovery, general inflammation, even sunburn. It's amazing for that. But it's not a magic cure-all. You can't just go out and buy a $500 product and think after one session, you're going to wake up looking and feeling 10 years younger. You may not reverse aging, but it may slow down the rate. You may not cure that back pain, but it may mean you don't need as much medication. You may not win the championship title in your sport, but you may start hitting PRs in the gym. And even though I've got a fair few wrinkles now and a lot more gray hairs than I had seven or eight years ago, I still keep using my red light therapy devices partly because it's my job and I have to experiment, but also because I know how good I do feel when I'm using it. Plus, as I've already shared, I know it's legit. And for those of you wondering about hair loss and red light therapy, I have done a full video on that. I did actually experiment with trying to regrow my hair with red light therapy, but I think I was far too gone when I started. You see, I already had a receding hairline when I was at high school. My mates used to joke about it. The gray hairs, well, to be honest, a lot of them have happened in the last 12 months because about 18 months ago, my wife and I decided, you know what, let's sell our farm and move our family, because I have a daughter now as well, away from New Zealand to the Middle East. And we did, and we moved to Dubai. And I'll tell you now, that move was extremely stressful again. And the gray hairs in my beard are simply tangible memories of this stressful move. So there you have it. Seven years of red light therapy. I'll let you do your own analysis and look at the before and afters, but know that everyone is different. And for every amazing before and after you may see on social media, there's probably someone who's had the opposite effect. And I hope this transparency helps any concerns you may have had. And even if not, maybe it shows that, hey, we're all human. We all have a story and stress and aging is just part of being human. I'd love to hear your stories, good or bad, around red light therapy use, or you know what, any supplement, any diet, any hack that you may have used for a long duration and the benefits or lack of benefits that you've noticed. Leave them down below or jump into our Facebook group because we've got over 25,000 people in there now. And there's some amazing stories in there from people who have had extraordinary results around red light therapy on their skin, but also general wellness and pain, even depression. So if I don't see you in the comments down below or in the Facebook group, hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Take care.